Big boys, yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, before we get started, I just want to apologize real quick for the lack of videos recently um, with Thanksgiving a couple of days ago, right? Um, and as you guys are literally watching this, it's literally my sister's birthday right now. Um, so yeah, just tons of stuff going on. My own birthday is in a couple of days and then my girlfriend's birthday is five days after mine as well. And then Christmas and everything. So this month, bear with me guys. I'm going to upload as much as I can. But uh, yeah, I am super busy. Um, but tonight, I do have some new uh, no-risk investments for you guys. But before we get started, make sure you guys do drop a like, subscribe if you're not already. And uh, let's get right into it. All right, guys. So this is the current Team of the Week 11 predictions, all right, from Footman, of course. Um, so yeah, based on these right now, we're currently going to focus on Mertens, all right? So Mertens, with the decent-looking card, is supposed to be apparently getting an inform. So because of that, I do have a couple cards for you guys. Alright guys, the first card I have for you guys today is this Inform Zambo and Gisa. He's currently about just under 12k on PlayStation, uh, Same, with, basically same on Xbox. What you're going to want to do is look at open bids, alright? There are so many open bids. Uh, literally, you can get them for 10k, 10.5. I would go for it. He doesn't go up much. Uh, all we're going to do is simply list him back up. You should at least be able to break even, if not make like a couple thousand coins. But if he does go up a little bit, uh, I would cash out fast. Um, he, at the end of the day, right, he has the link to Mertens, but... Is he an insane card? No, he's a decent, well-rounded card. So if you guys do see him go up, uh, yeah, I would definitely take the coins. But get as close to 10k as you guys can on all consoles. Should be uh, very no risk. All right, so Lozano, I'm not really going to include him too much in this video. Um, but I will say this. So I'm just using him to compare with that Zambo and Giza that you guys just saw, right? Uh, Lozano, I've been looking at him, at him since yesterday. Dude was 12k. He's up to 15 right now, whereas Zambo and Giza isn't up too much. Obviously, I feel like most people would prefer Lozano or maybe both as a triangle. So, saying that, if you guys can find Lozano for 13k-ish, Xbox and PlayStation, I would still go for it. But check your bids and whatnot. At 15k, I'm personally good. But, uh, yeah, if you guys can find him at 13k, I think he's no risk as well. Um, definitely offers a great link. Alright, so back to the team of the week. Obviously, Griezmann and Mertens are both in it. Well, because of that, I do like Carrasco, who links to both. Obviously, um... These 86s in forms were 17, 18k a couple days ago, but saying that, um, I feel like they still have room to rise. In my opinion, 86 plus fodder uh, definitely will go higher. So if you guys can find Carrasco 20k max, all consoles, I do like it. Uh, as an 86, it really is no risk at worst. Like, honestly, absolute worst. He's going to drop like 2,000 coins. Um, so it's basically no risk. Uh, but yeah, great shout. Links to both, once again, Griezmann and Mertens. Keep an eye out on them. All right, this one I'm going to throw in here. I'm going to say right now, right, um, this one is not necessarily no risk, but in my opinion, it's low risk, so I'm just going to throw it in. Uh, Firmino is currently about 34, 35K. He has recovered quite a bit since the Black Friday promo where he was in the 20s. Saying that, though, this dude literally was like seven, like 65K plus for the longest, right? I like him because he links to the likes of Jota and also potentially, I mean, anything else as well. I see a Talisca right here being Brazilian, right? So... Firmino is decent. Uh, would I pay 35k for him? No, nah, I wouldn't. I would definitely get like 2-3k undercuts. However, 1k undercuts or even sometimes market price with a Hunter or Shadow is still fine. Um, once again, this is a card that I think can push 40k. Um, but it is not no risk. It's just low risk in my opinion. So this one's up to you guys uh, if you guys want to take the risk or not. So fodder has risen a little bit, right? Um, so 83s, 84s, and 85s are up quite a bit. 86 pluses are up a little bit as well, but in my opinion, they can still keep rising. 88s like Bruno, um, literally, I'm thinking 32, 33K. Uh, they definitely still have room to rise. So Bruno is a good one if you guys are looking for 88s. All right, uh, 2K undercuts, all consoles. I would say 26K or so is fine. So Xbox guys, you guys are a little lucky. Um, an extra reason why I like him, all right? Now, he at this point in the game, he's not that great. However, some lower division people, some casuals maybe, I feel like would use him, especially for the Portuguese link to Jota once again. Um, so, yeah. He's basically, once again, he's just basically fodder at this point. Same price as other 88 fodders. Um, but he does offer decent links. Um, you know, maybe some demand for people's squads. So, under comes on Bruno. Definitely think it's no risk. Alright guys, so like I just said, um, I still personally do like 86 plus fodder, as you guys can see. Um, yeah, Moreno, the cheapest ones are currently about 13k. I definitely think at some point they're going to be at least 17k. Um, we just need EA to drop some SBCs after all the repeatable SBCs end. Um, the ones that are currently available, of course. I think there's like a day or two left. But yeah, I mean, Fabinho under 13k is free coins, basically. 
Um, yeah, these are all great. Handanovich right now, I, w I do like it for the link to Skriniar. Get them for like 12k. Like it a lot. Uh, but yeah, so you guys can see all the cheapest ones here on Footbin. They literally put them in order for you guys, alright? I'll put the link in the description. You guys can just click on it. Um, 86s I do like, alright, under 13k. Uh, 87s are currently about 18k. They were 16 to 17 at one point a couple days ago. They are up to 18, 19. Saying that, get your bids and whatnot under 18k, as close to 17 or less as you can. I literally do like them. They're definitely going to rise um, in the, like really soon. I can't tell you guys exactly when because I don't work at EA, but trust me, these were people SBCNs. Right now, there's just too much content. We're all focused on so many things, right? We have to let the content end and then go back to the daily one or two SBCs from EA. And you know, whenever they drop a high-rated one, maybe the next Icon SBC, uh, yeah, this stuff will definitely go up. Um, 88, same thing, currently 26k. 25, I would buy any when you can. Um, as you guys can see, obviously some cards are worth more than others. Uh, yeah, aim for these right here. The first like seven or so players. Undercuts, one to 2k. Um, I like it a lot. 89s as well. Um, yeah, only at 35k. Whenever we get Icon SBCs or whatever, some high rated stuff. All right, minimum 40k a piece. Honestly, more than that. I'm thinking like 45k. So pick them up, boys. I do like it a lot. Even the 90, 91s, Lewandowski's. And whatnot. Lewandowski, I would aim for like 60-ish K. All black is up to 57. Uh, as close to 50 as you can, you know. So 50, like 3 max in my opinion. Because of tax. Neuer, 40K. Ter Sagan, all these guys, 40K. Get your undercuts, get your bids. No risk at all. Alright guys, so this is like the third week in a row that Rippard has appeared in this video. As you guys can see, every time he features, he's a little bit more, right? The first time he was like 10K. Second time, 11K. Third time, he's 12K. So... Yeah, being considering he was literally 10k, which is the absolute minimum, now I mean he couldn't go any lower, right? So he's just gradually going back up, back up. Saying that though, if you guys can get him for still 10k on all consoles, or even like 11 or even 12k with the shadow, I do like him a lot. Um, it's still no risk. At worst, you can break even. I promise you that. But uh, yeah, aim for 10k. He's just gradually going up. Not a bad shout. All right, David Silva is a card that I always show as well, right? So let's go back and see. So 87s right now, you guys can see him on the bottom. 87s right now are about 19k. David Silva is 22, 23, so he's a little bit more. Obviously, he is a special card. All right, um, I like him a lot for Xbox right now. Uh, if you guys can get a max 20k, I like it, I like it. Um, PlayStation guys, 20 as well. Obviously, he's a little bit more. He hasn't really dropped less than 20, and literally, I, I don't remember seeing him drop under 20 like that, so... Uh, you know, maybe this past week, but yeah. Basically, 20 is like his absolute low point, so if you guys can get him for 20, he's only up from there. Also, all right, uh, something something that comes to my brain is this Isaac card. Uh, I think he should be getting upgraded. He obviously hard link Silva, so that could be a good shout. Um, so yeah, aim for 20k, no risk at all. All right, guys, you guys know me, man, all right? Even though this is a no-risk video, I'm going to throw in another one that I think is a pretty low-risk one. This trial race should be going up to, I believe, 86, if not 87, right? He's currently 32k, uh, basically on Xbox and PlayStation, a little bit less on Xbox. A little higher on PC, so I would stay away for this one. But PlayStation and Xbox, guys, just I mean, I would just think about it. With the upgrade, um, he's already he's going to look good anyways, right? But if he goes to up to an 87, he'll even be crazier. Uh, if you guys can buy him for 30k max, I really, really don't see him being this cheap. Uh, even after the first upgrade, in my opinion. So, once again, this one in, is pretty low risk. Uh, not zero risk, though. So, yeah. For my dudes that are watching this video, if you want to if you want to step it up a little bit, you know, take your game up to the next level and take some low risk investments, could be a good shout. Um, obviously, the higher the risk you take, the higher the reward. So, definitely a great shout for him. This Theata, I'm going to throw in the same boat as Triore. So, he's currently up a little bit, but... I've, I've literally looked at these cards since the day they came out. Um, he obviously was super low during the panic for Black Friday, right? He's gone up uh, a little bit. He's kind of in the middle right now, so I'm not going to say it's a no-risk investment. He usually, him and Issa Diop as well, usually go up to a, like the mid 40s, so like 44, 45 K or so, and then they do come back down. However, he should be getting upgraded. He should have a pretty nice card. Um, and yeah, once again, not low, not no risk, but definitely low risk if you guys can buy 35 K on PlayStation. Xbox guys, I would say max 33, um, and PC guys, a little bit higher, but 36 max for you guys. Um, once again, low risk, not no risk, but I do like it. If you guys are wondering why as well, you guys can literally look it up for yourself on Google. Look at the tables, uh, Monaco are on top, I believe, so, you know, yeah, not a bad shout. 
All right, guys, and the final thing I'm going to recommend for this video, all right, is inform fodder. So we're going to take a look back at the cheapest page, all right, and we're just going to go around. So obviously the super low rated ones we don't really care about. We care about mainly the 84 pluses or even 85 pluses, I would say. Um, so what we're going to do is this. Um, well, let's take a look at the ones that are already included, right? Because obviously if somebody is included here, for example, I see like Suarez, Cruz, Mola, right? Uh, Chesney is usable in many, many teams, so he's an exception. But yeah, Mola right here is 35k still as an 80, uh, 88 inform. 34k max, I would 100% pick it up. All right, um, you guys remember last time I bought, we bought a lot of him and also Kalor Navas. All right, get your undercuts. I mean, this is in my opinion no risk under 35k. How much more can they really drop? Also, supply isn't too massive on these cards. So uh, tying back to the logic before for the just the regular fodder, we just need for all these repeatable SPCs to end and whatnot, you know, and then let everything cool down and then get back to the normal daily SPCs and uh, we should see a rise. Cruz right here is 37k right now, 35k honestly. Actually, no, he, well, see, Footman lied to me. It's at 37k. He's still 40k. Um, we bought a ton already at 35k. Honestly, in my opinion, at 38, if you guys get undercuts, it's still no risk. He's literally an 89 informer, right? Um... Yeah, I don't even know what to say because in my opinion, this card with the right SPCs should be at least like 45, if not even 50k. So um, yeah, no risk at all, guys. I promise you get Just get like 2k undercuts, all right? Suarez, literally the same as Cruz. Uh, if I had to choose one, I mean, they're both good. I'd probably go, I feel like Cruz offers better links, but uh, they're basically the same price, right? Same rating, 2k undercuts on all consoles. I like it a lot, guys. Promise you. Uh, they will be needed for SBCs, all right? I don't, once again, I don't know when. It's up to EA, but they are coming. I promise you that, all right? Um, so, yes, yeah, so you guys can see Navas right here. Obviously, Navas might be used in some people's squads, like the PSG links, but just look how much more he is than Cruz and Suarez. And obviously, yes, I know. These guys were recently in packs. I know, I know. Right now, they're, you know, they're not really catching up to Navas that fast because it's not really many SBCs that people are buying these for, you know, but... I promise you, man, one day they will basically balance out in price, all right? So, Cruz Suarez, love it, boys. Anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Uh, if you guys have any questions, come to the streams, twitch.tv slash Edwin. It is down below, all right? And I got you guys. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and I'll see you in the next one.